putting a project of this scale together where expectations are going to be incredibly high because the video game is the most popular video game in the world and Jeep the brand is one of the most popular brands in the world. You have to put a crew together that, that really kind of kicks butt. And we uh, started that process by looking at some of the films that we used as touchstones in our creative presentation. We looked at films like Black Hawk Down, Body of Lies, The Born Identity, and we said, hmm, I really want my, my little commercial to look like those, those films. And, and so we went and saw who was the art director on those films, and we found Rob Cowper. In terms of the ambition of the project, um, giving it a sort of sense of reality, but being careful about certain choices, tying in with the game. But as you can see, it's all you know, new sets within old buildings, or it's destroyed streets that, don't, that aren't destroyed. It's using dressing very cleverly and quickly, looking after what you see in the camera. The challenge was uh, just the sheer amount of, of stuff we had to throw in the shot. In 60 seconds we had a, uh, about 44, 43 visual effects sh shots. We, we basically looked like it was a war zone. I mean, it's based on this game. It, it was supposed to just kind of look like, you know, France after it's been, you know, uh, embattled for months. Every building, the basilica and the building to the side and the road, every structure in that had been painted over. Shell hits, mortar hits, layers upon layers of like this dust and smoke and debris, all, all you know, all blowing around. There's not a pixel on that screen that we didn't touch. Our job is literally to make sure p viewers don't have any clue that we did anything to it whatsoever. When you're shooting in a in a city, you can't uh, you can't really fly a, a helicopter right down the middle of it, and you certainly can't stage a war. Uh, basically, it's it's my job to make that scene look as realistic as possible. It was just a beast in, in terms of wrangling. I mean, I, it was certainly uh, uh, on on the level of uh, some of the biggest features that get done. We had to find a way to show the gameplay footage, but we wanted to do it live action because it's way more awesome. And so we had to find a way to merge those two worlds. And what came out of that was basically showing the gameplay footage, and and then you see that anytime it's gameplay footage, you see that it's on some kind of screen of some sort. We have a, a big story thing happening in this where we're juxtaposing high-speed moments that are lit in warm light that represent our real reality and the cold of war, which is shot real time with a high shutter angle with kind of cool lighting. And Larry was the kind of guy we wanted because we really wanted to be experimental with these two worlds, bringing them together for authenticity. This commercial has a lot of slow motion, crazy things, and a lot of that is very similar to what we did in Watchmen with the very high frame rates and super slow motion. So hopefully some things I learned on that movie we can use on this commercial. So many visual possibilities in this commercial. I love doing things that are visual. There's action, there's explosions, there's also drama, slow motion, special effects. It's grown immensely and just flowered into this incredible, exciting piece of film. Europe and America has Londoners fleeing to... Insurgents have had some mandatory evacuation. The national community has refused the... High-speed person with people combined.
12 Jeep Wrangler Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Edition. The toughest vehicle in the world. Anyway.